Dear learners, welcome to NIOS studio. I am Ekta, PGT Chemistry. Today we are going to discuss about lesson 23, Nomenclature and General Principles. You will be able to understand at the end of this unit, you will be able to understand the concept of reaction mechanism, electron displacement in covalent bond and you will be able to understand the concept of types of reactions. Let us understand the concept of reaction mechanism. The general reaction is depicted as follows. An organic molecule is attacked by attacking reagent to form intermediate which result into the formation of product. So if you look at the definition, what is reaction mechanism? It is a sequential account of each step describing details of electron movement, energetics during bond cleavage and bond formation and the rates of transformation of reactants into products, the kinetics involved in it is referred to as reaction mechanism. Breaking of covalent bond, types of bond fission. So when you are breaking a covalent bond, there are two types, homolytic fission and heterolytic fission. The fission of covalent bond with equal sharing of bonding electron is known as homolytic fission, whereas heterolytic fission, there is unequal sharing of bonding electrons is known as heterolytic fission. So when you look hypothetically the molecule A and B, A takes away the same number of electron as the B. So these radicals are called as free radical, whereas in case of heterolytic fission, one of the atom occupies negative charge, which is called as carbanion and the other atom occupies positive charge, which is called as carbocation. So here is, you can see how the fission takes place. Next is the Homolytic fission result into the formation of free radicals which are neutral species but they are highly reactive. They act as initiators in a chemical reaction. Whereas in case of heterolytic fission, carbonium and carbocation or carbonion are formed. Next, the charged species obtained by the heterolytic fission initiate the chemical reactions and they are classified as electrophiles and nucleophiles. Electrophiles are electron deficient species, it be positively charged or neutral. Here are the some examples which you can see. Uh, whereas nucleophiles are negatively charged or electron rich neutral species, examples are OH minus, NO minus, water molecule, and nucleophiles attack a position of low electron density, whereas electrophile attacks a position of high electron density. Electron displacement in covalent bond. For a chemical reaction to occur, breaking of covalent bond takes place by the attack of electrophile or nucleophile. Thus, molecule or bond under the uh, develop a polarity on some of the carbon atom. This polarity can be developed by the displacement of bonding electrons due to certain effects. Electronic effects may be permanent like inductive effect or temporary like electromeric effect in nature. Such changes or effects involving displacement of electron in the substrate molecule under the attack of reagent are known as electron displacement or electronic effects. There are types of electronic effects, inductive effect, electromeric effect, resonance effect and hyperconjugation. So let us understand what is inductive effect. You can see here a man pulling three man. Why? Because it is having more power. So that particular man is acting as an electronegative atom which could be depicted from the molecule CH3CH2Cl. In a covalent bond between the two dissimilar atoms, the shared electrons pair are attracted more towards the electronegative atom. Hence, there develops a polarity. So this sigma bonding, the polarization is caused in the sigma bonded carbon atom. Such an effect is called as inductive effect and it is a permanent effect. There are two types of uh, inductive effect, plus I effect and minus I effect. Plus I effect depend upon that which group is attached to the carbon chain. If electron release, releasing groups or electron pushing groups are attached as shown then they will show plus i effect. If electron withdrawing groups are attached, then they will show minus i effect. Electromeric effect is a type of temporary electronic effect. It takes place in the compounds containing multiple bond like C double bond O, C double bond C, etc. 
So you can see here in the molecule C double bond O, O being electronegative will pull the electrons towards itself becoming negatively charged and carbon becomes positively charged. There are two types of electromeric effect, positive electromeric effect and negative electromeric effect. From the figure it is quite clear that one of the carbon will attract the pi electron and will become negatively charged and if you add on a positively charged species or electrophile to it then it will be attacked or it will go to a negative carbon. Whereas in negative electromeric effect in this effect the pi electrons of the multiple bond are transferred to that atom to which the attacking reagent does not get attacked. For example, when you add nucleophile say Cn minus, so it will go to that carbon which has positively charged. It cannot go to negative charge carbon because it will show repulsion there. Next is resonance, a very important phenomena is exhibited by number of organic molecule which can be represented by two or more structures which are called resonating or canonical structures. However, None of those structures explains all the properties of the compound. All the possible structure of compound are arrived by redistribution of valence electron. The true structure of the compound is an intermediate of all the possible resonating structure or canonical structures called resonance hybrid, which is quite clear from these pictures, which is an example given here is of benzene. You find that there are double bond, alternate double and single bond you find the position of the double bond in structure 1 and structure 2 varies whereas in the third structure there is a ring which shows that double bond is single bond or resonating in a molecule. Why this happens because when the bond length in case of benzene was measured between CH single bond CH and C double bond C it was observed that it was 139 picometer which was intermediate between C single bond C bond length which was 154 picometer and C double bond C bond length which was 130 picometer. So it was considered that this particular molecule shows a resonance. Another example could be taken of ethyl ethanoate ion. Next topic is hyperconjugation. It involves delocalization of electron of C single bond H of an alkyl group directly attached to an atom of unsaturated or to an atom with unshared p orbital. The electrons of CH bond of the alkyl groups enter into partial conjugation with the attached unsaturated system or with unshared p orbital. Hyperconjugation is a permanent effect you can see it from the figure. Now let us understand the types of reaction there are four types substitution reactions, addition reactions, elimination reactions and molecular rearrangement. Let us consider the first reaction, the substitution reaction. Substitution reactions are of two types, nucleophilic substitution reactions and electrophilic substitution reactions. In nucleophilic substitution reaction, one of the atom in an alkyl group is substituted by a nucleophile. For example, here alkyl halides are taken and nucleophile is attacked to it. So when you attack nucleophile, it is substituted by X, where X is a halogen. So haloalkanes on attacking with a nucleophile, will result into the formation of uh, halogens like chlorine, fluorine, bromine, etc. In case of uh, electrophilic substitution reaction, generally it takes place in aromatic compounds like benzene. So here benzene is attacked by or reacted by HNO3 and H2SO4. This particular reaction is called as nitration of benzene in which NO2 group is attacked on the benzene ring. Why electrophilic substitution takes place? Because benzene ring is already electron rich. Benzene does not undergo nucleophilic substitution reactions. Now, next is addition reaction. Addition reaction generally takes place in unsaturated hydrocarbons such as alkenes and alkynes which are extremely reactive towards wide variety of reagents. Here, the double bond is broken and the compound is added to it. For example, it is shown here ethene is taken and you are adding bromine to it. So double bond will be broken and Br molecule will be completely added. So this particular reaction is called as addition reaction. Next is elimination reaction. In elimination reaction which could be simply understood by taking an example, here we have taken an example of ethanol in which 
you are eliminating a particular molecule and the product formed will be a double bonded compound. So, this is also called as dehydration and this particular reaction is taking place in presence of certain catalyst. Next is molecular rearrangement. Molecular rearrangement proceeds with a fundamental change in the hydrocarbon skeleton of the molecule. During the reaction an atom or a group migrates from one position to another. For example, here it is one chlorobutane on reaction with aluminum chloride which act as a Lewis acid forms two chlorobutanes. So, there is only a rearrangement of the atom within the molecule. Such reactions are called as molecular rearrangements. Thank you.